All right, there's our national anthem, Benji. It looks like we're ready. We are ready for it. It should be an interesting matchup, Jack. Boys first. Turnaround here. Boys first <laughs> and girls in the second game. So I hope the boys are not uh, too early. That's you right. Know, that's right. That early morning game, they had a little bit of a struggle. I don't know a lot about Vertigris. Um, the guy that used to be the head coach here, a guy named Justin Phillip, I called today, but he didn't know a lot about these guys. But one of the guys, number 11, just did a flip when he walked on the midfield. So <laughs> it should have some athleticism. Good, it's not a gymnastics competition. In now, that. one thing they do have at Vertigris is, is it 40 minutes or 45? 40. 40. So uh, one, one thing that Vertigris does have, Jack, is some tradition. The girls have won seven state championships, and the boys won one as recently as 2016. Yeah, their girls are really, really good. I don't know much about the boys. You know, with the redistricting, they did have to drop from 4A to 3A, but we know that they were good enough to win a state championship just four years ago. Benji, they had a guy that used to play here, a guy named Zach Lloyd, a number of years back, that actually went on to play college soccer in North Carolina. Played for FC Dallas and played three games for the U.S. national team. Oh, wow. So from Little Vertigris, they had a guy that has really made a big impact in pro soccer in the U.S. Well, they're a soccer city. So it looks like Hildell's going to kick off. Charlie Divelbliss playing center forward in that center forward position. Played back to Pearson Weaver. it? Attack from the outside with Riker taking the ball oh, past nice him. Yeah, good heads up play by Blaine to know that pass was not to him because I thought it was coming to him. I'm not sure if Charlie know which line is out, and I'm not sure I know. I think I, it's the gray line and then the the gray that's just in front of the white over this bench. It's kind of a confusing configuration. It is. I think you're right. The the coach has just now moved the, the bleachers back off of that line, so they'll get it sorted out now. I can't remember the last time we started with Charlie as the center forward. This is kind of an interesting starting position. But he scored two goals last game. Yeah, so absolutely. Play the hot hand. We'll see how we do with possession here. We've certainly been a team that has controlled possession in every game. That's correct. Jackson Whitaker throws it into Charlie there. Oh, oh Blaine's going to get Blaine. up early. And he yes. it in. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Blaine took it right out in the center. That was a tough finish. Jack, another quick strike. Less than two wait. minutes. That's kind of slow for us. Though, <laughs> Compared to four seconds, that's very slow. But <laughs> about a minute and four seconds on that goal. That was a really nice finish by Blaine. He, he was in a lot of traffic too, Jack. The real question is how many times will he end up on the field tonight? <laughs> Blaine Neymar McWilliams, or <laughs> McDaniel. Who's, well, who is that over there playing defense? That, that's Kel. Oh, okay, Kel's yep. starting tonight on the right, okay. Yeah, Kel on the right side and Riker on that left wing back position with Zach Spear, Pearson Weaver, and Brock Fletcher playing the center backs. Patrick's looking for somebody. Nice split there to Riker. He's saying the wrong numbers because it's in a different column. Like that Oh, uh, okay. Blaine gets another shot on the goal here. Hang on just a second. Let me check this. You want to check it out? Okay. All right. So we're uh, goal. We played the goal kick, and we look like, uh, well, they've called a foul. Pearson foul. Pearson Weaver made a foul at midfield, so Verders is going to have a goal kick here. Right on the center line. We're stepping back. So he's got a go, um, uh, free kick from the center line. They're trying to set up here. We've got a, seven people back. They play one long in, and we just pick it off right in the front. Uh, let's see. Brock plays it out to Corbett Weaver, and Corbett's just playing the simple pass to Riker. Riker's looking for it here. We're just possessing the ball. No, but and back to Pearson Weaver. We'll reset here. Certainly don't want to make any mistakes in the back. We're we've been a team this year that has played with extreme possession, and that's why we're definitely protecting the ball. 
Patrick plays it down in. Charlie's on it. Oh, Charlie. Benji, Charlie just tried again from about 15 yards out, just over the crossbar. So Fantastic. He's feeling it. He's got the prototypical uh, center forward body, big old German type yes, uh, yes. forward. Yeah, he does. He's got that, uh, it looks like um, the old Franz Beckenbauer. Mm -hmm. Then you got Patrick out there backing him up on the right side, almost as big too. We definitely have size. Yeah, Brock's going to see that one, out. that one out. I think that's the same AR that we had the other night at the... Uh, wow, I think you're right. Tournament. I, I think, think you're right. When we only had two. Her job will be a little bit easier tonight. Yeah. And again, as last time, Colton's in goal. I think I think we may have settled on Colton playing goal and Jaden coming in playing in the defensive positions. Yeah, I think we found that Jaden can add a lot more value actually providing some... Uh, some spots for the guys out there. He's he's very efficient out there. He did a good job. And this is officially the last game before the district. I know I've told people we were starting district last week, but this is not a district game. So. Right, right. District play starts Thursday with Poto in Poto. Right next to the tallest hill in the world. That's it. Benji, I was a little confused when I walked up to the game tonight because I couldn't tell which team was which because they're red and black also. Mm -hmm. I like their uniforms. I do too. Hilda on the white tonight. It does seem odd. Have we seen them wearing this uh, configuration? I don't. I don't think so. Well, we deal with this. We're getting a little bit of loose headers here. That was kind of a weird deal. He, the ball was just like too high for everybody's head, and they put the ball in the wrong place. Kale's going to see if he can get control, and unable to before it goes out of bounds, sets up a cardinal throw in. It's kind of a windy night and a little bit chilly, and I think it's supposed to get chillier as the night goes on. So the guys are, oh, my goodness, we do have a homecoming test down here in gowns, and I know they're going to be cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, they had a, we watched the homecoming, homecoming oh, they ceremony. Had it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They had it before the game. Well, I guess that's why then, because the, the girls had to be in their gowns and had to have time to get ready for their game. Right. Boy, I can't imagine what these girls, the Vertigree Cardinals, are going to do uh, in the 3A classification. Oh, my goodness. I mean, good Lord, seven state championships in 4A. Almost doesn't seem fair when you've won that many. It shouldn't matter the size of your school. You should have to stay. They should even be pushed up to 5A. That's right. Here comes a corner kick opportunity for the Cardinals. First corner kick of the game. Oh, Patrick's going to get an easy clearance here. Team pushes up to give Colton a little bit of breathing room. Riker gets it out to Patrick if he can get a handle on it, and it looks like he's going to. Yeah. Get back our possession here. We've kind of lost possession for a little bit. Nice tricky little pass there by Jack Blaine. Oh, nice oh, play into yeah. Blaine by Patrick. Oh, uh, Blaine, I think he could have had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity there. He's still going to be didn't come out. He's got a chance. Oh, oh wow. He hit the post. That was, a, uh, that was an impossible angle. That was an impossible angle. But he hit the post. He got about as much on target as he could get. That was a great ball by Patrick playing him in. I thought he had the keeper beat because the keeper was slow to come out, but just didn't quite get the shot off. Yeah, I think he waited just a little bit too long to get that shot off. Goal kick for the Cardinals. See if we can keep it in this end, win this first ball here. Goalie just played it out, so. Yeah, I'm going to give possession to the Hornets. I, they better be careful giving that ball to the Hornets tonight. I Jackson. just realized Jackson didn't throw it in. Oh, that's a shaky pass there. we got to be careful on those passes. Nice. 
Oh, if he was he was a little bit heavy on that pass, Jack, that would have been a good scoring yeah. opportunity. He that had the midfield guy in position. giveaway will kill you every time. We've got to be much more specific on those passes. Right. You know, he looked to the center of the field and saw three Cardinals there, and electric might create some problems there. He made it. He forced him to play it way. Oh, but good pass to Blaine to Charlie. Charlie's making that run to the yeah. corner flag. See if Riker can get us across. He's going to have to beat this guy to do it. He does get the ball over to Charlie, who's going to lose possession, but no fear. Jackson Whitaker's right there. Now, Blaine, let's Blaine see if he can get the left. That's not a oh, yeah, he got a oh, good shot nice. by Patrick. That was a tough finish, too. And Blaine just nicely getting the ball in. I think Patrick hit that left footed just right under the keeper. He did. It was a straggler over to him. He didn't have much pace on it, so any power that was generated had to come off of his foot. You know, the thing about that is I've seen so many people with the ball coming right there, they hit it so hard. They hit it over. All you have to do is pass it in, and that's what he did. He yes. just passed it just in. Just placed that ball foot. there. You're, you're exactly right. So we got Patrick and Blaine with scores. We're 2 0, almost 10 minutes in. Patrick getting the pressure on the left back. Corbett Weaver is going to find, well, he's looking for Kel, but, oh, Patrick found him, but pass was intercepted. Zach is doing his normal hounding on defense. Man, he doesn't give you a breath of air no. at all, does he? No. Charlie with an opportunity Charlie needs here. a goal here. The two of the three up front have scored. Charlie needs his goal. Well, he's able to keep possession as the Cardinal player kicks it out of bounds. So Riker had three throw-ins. What was going on with I that? I think they've like switched over there. Maybe they're saving Jackson's arm for <laughs> Thursday night. He tosses it in the box there. Patrick's getting worked over on his back there. And Zach right in his face, as usual. He is able to come up with the ball this time. He, oh, that was an obvious shove there. That was frustration. Zach took it away from him turn, and turned with the ball. And the player who turned into a defender just pushed Zach right down. That's right. The Hornets may make, make the Cardinals pay for that one. That's a dangerous place for a set piece for the Cardinals. And they are going to get some numbers in to crash the box here. Jackson Whitaker taking it, it looks like. Jackson Whitaker's taking it. And you got Pearson coming in. Oh, that's a good ball. Patrick gets ahead on it. Ahead on it. Wave. The ball was a little bit too far out from the goal. Mm -hmm. If Patrick could have got enough to play that back across the front of the goal, it could have been... Dangerous. Is this a throw? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Patrick thought the ball was going to come through to him. Uh, but he was able to get ahead on it. Just couldn't generate much power. They'll be trying to do a flick header on this one. I think it's a throw in. I'm not sure whether <laughs> Jackson went with the ball. Oh, there he is. The ball went a long ways. So usually they throw this and somebody flicks it over. Looks like Pearson's going to try to flick, but he misses it. Riker with a shot. Boy, you know, on those opportunities like that, when you have Pearson Weaver, you have Charlie Divelis, you have Patrick Murphy, all big, tall, strong kids in the box, it's a dangerous situation every time. Nice play by Kale. Yep, he's over to get it, get it over the back line. Charlie might. No, not quite. He was, he was being battled there by that center back, who looks like a big, strong kid himself. This keeper is really slow to come out. If we play some through balls there, if we're quick to get on him, we're going to get to the ball before the keeper because he's very slow to come off his line. Yeah, he's going to have to be a lot more aggressive or he's going to be in trouble. He's going to have to commit to a decision a lot quicker than he's done so far. They just play it all the way in, just hoping something's going to happen. Yeah, Pearson under no real threat here. Makes a rare bad pass. You don't see that very often from no. Pearson. Made a nice move to get away and then was <laughs> off with the pass. Charlie's tracking back, playing defense. That's why we have all these clean sheets. Everybody's everybody's working to get the ball back. 
boy, if they can keep that streak alive tonight, that's going to be impressive. Patrick's got some speed here. He is able to get the guy off the ball. Look at that. He's still got control. Out. Wow. Oh, oh just over goodness. the crossbar. Nice play. Nice spin. Once again, the goalie's slow to come out, and Patrick was able to get that ball held up. And he just was a little, a little. I think when he spun, he was leaning back yeah. a little bit and just couldn't wasn't far it. over the goal. He couldn't get over it. There was some. I don't think he was necessarily trying to generate power there, but there was urgency to get the shot off. Yeah. It got enough power, and like you said, he was leaning back, and it sailed over the crossbar. Goal kick for the Cardinals. Riker bounces off the top of his head and goes out of bounds. Cardinals able to work down the sideline via throw in. Did that hit Brock? Let's see. No. I don't think it did. I think he was coming up to get it, and it went off the Vergeris player. I guess Jackson didn't like that uh, everybody can't throw it 50 yards like he can, so he's going to take this throw for us. He's, he's taking control. <laughs> All he did there was earn about 30 more yards to throw it again. Yep. Maybe not the wisest of decisions. They'll learn that as the half goes on. Good throw. Patrick oh, is Patrick's able to get three. through, and he's, he's got, got three people. Oh, he didn't quite get. Well, he's going to get it to blank now. Looks like they're going to have to probe this defense a little bit to get a shot off now. But as we've seen, they're really good at possessing. And we are and really probing. patient. Oh, if I think oh Charlie got there. Still, still in a dangerous spot for the Cardinals. Riker. Riker is keeping it there. I Jackson's like, going to take it. I feel like Jack, uh, Riker's going to score a goal here before long. He's been I think close right. a lot. Yeah, he's sniffing around those opportunities. Oh, Kale was making a run, but we didn't quite see him. Corbin's able to hang on to the ball through traffic. Momentarily, anyway, he is uh, oh, a I little thought. bit too much of a touch when it came off the player. Yeah, he had Blaine there about the top of the box, but couldn't quite find him. Burgers making their first sub here, 15 minutes in. Yeah, 24 minutes left. Score is two to zero. Hilda Hornets. Another quick strike by the Hornets. What do we say, about a minute and four seconds yeah, in that first definitely goal? definitely under two minutes. These goal kicks are very shaky. We have won almost every ball off of their goal kicks. There's some physical play on Riker, making him earn that possession that he is able to maintain. Is he going to be able to get it over, Jack? Oh, that's uh, a penalty. Yeah. They're going to what? Did they call it? Wow. No. Wow. You know, it, 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 it was an obvious foul, Jack, but, man, Oh, those referees don't like calling it in the box. No. You know? It makes him look lazy, though. I mean, he's standing back here, and mm -hmm. he's obviously tripped in the box, and he doesn't call it. And that could have been Riker's chance for a goal. Riker made a nice move through. Who's taking Corbett Weaver's taking the corner. And Patrick's he's given the goalie heck again. Oh, Riker with a heavy that touch really to give up possession. They're playing it out. Jackson tells Brock to just give me the ball. That's right. Stay back where you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're getting ready to make a sub. Is this Jackson Hannon? Alonzo Perez. And Alonzo coming in for Patrick and Kale. Number 18, Zach Spear. Number 21, Gavin Williams. Checks in for the Let's see if they're going to leave Alonzo over there on the right side. Looks like they are. Oh, Jackson almost picked that off. Another mishandle by the Cardinals. Going to set up a throw in for the Hornets. And guess this who's taking it? a little bit far out for the flick, but... He's 
trying to get Charlie down there, and Charlie's fighting for position. That's going to be a corner. Yep. We'll see if we play the short corner again. The last short corner, Riker played a little bit heavy touch. I think it was, I think it's there as a possibility, but man, I think I'd just play it in. The big guys we got in there. I'm with you. Uh, you know, they, they are able to draw out some players sometimes. Yeah. They clear the box out a little bit. And if they can get the cross, the delivery in right after that, great. But uh, I'm, I'm with you. Is The quality that we have crash in the box, just go ahead and put it up. Let's see what they can do with it. Corbett, what the? Oh, is that in? Another corner. Goalie bobbled it, and the defender just played it back out for a corner. That yeah. was a little tight in on the goal. He had Blaine and I think Alonzo right there, too. Ball's played in That's a little bit keep further. We were all a little too tight to see if Riker can keep it in. I'm not sure who that was going out on, but. It's our ball, it's our throw, and this is dangerous spot. This is flick territory. Yeah. Maybe not for a lot of teams, but Jackson Whitaker can definitely put it right there in Looks the box. Looks like they're setting up Charlie to do the flick. Oh. He tries to take a swing at it. There's Pearson plays it out for a corner. Gives us another corner. See what we're setting up for here. Yeah, it looks like we're setting up for that short one. He's taking Blaine down here. We'll see if anybody comes out. So far, they have somebody in the front post. They're just attacking from the side. Oh, that ball's through. That should be a Jackson hit. Oh, man. He tried to run around it. That would If, if he was left-footed, if he'd taken with his left, he has a chance there. But he tried to run around it. And hmm. Goal kick for the Vertigris Cardinals. So we're halfway through the first half. 2-0 Hornets. I just saw a Schwab on the sideline showing Toby how Jackson ran around the ball. So <laughs> I'm sure he's going to get a uh, little words of wisdom when he goes over. <laughs> okay. So Colton's going to Colton. have to work a little bit here. For Colton. Just making sure he's awake. Toss I don't see him do that a lot. I don't see him throw it out a lot. Of course, I don't see him touch the ball a <laughs> lot, so <laughs> that could be why. We don't see him much do much of anything. A lot. No offense to Colton. When we've needed him, he has definitely been there. He has. He made a fantastic save uh, the other night oh, to save our clean sheet. Yeah, Charlie's going to get on. an easy chance here. Get a touch to the far post. Good there shot. <laughs> nice and He forced. played it exactly where it needed to be. He enjoyed all the time in the world, no pressure, and he did exactly what he needed to do. They let him set that shot up, find out right where he wanted to place it, and he put it right there. He's been impressive the last couple of games. He's, he's putting shots in places where the keepers aren't, so... And with that goal, he's going to take a break and let Mateo come in. So 18 minutes and 55 seconds. The clock has stopped. He's going to run it again. So 18.55, score 3-0, Hill of Hornets. You may be able to give some people some rest in this game before the first district game if this keeps up. Colton taking his time to survey the field. He's, He's holding the ball as long as he can. <laughs> yep. Whitaker with a quick pass to Riker. He's going to feed it down the line to Mateo. Those quick passes have been a difference this year, too. We're making a lot of quick passes. We're not holding the ball. Mateo. Oh. Nice move. I think that's. I think that hit a vertigree player. It did. I think he was actually going for the shot there. He ended up being a pretty quality cross. Oh, wow. I don't know if Riker meant sure to do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Either he way. He had a really nice pass, but I'm not sure he knew what he was doing. Pass intercepted there. It's on its way to Corbett Weaver. Intercepted there. Corbett back to Pearson. Reset it. Pearson finds Jackson Hannon. who's going to give it right back to Corbett. It's going to look to feed it to Jackson. Give Jackson Hannon an opportunity. He's going to go full blast for sure. See if he can do one of those other 
pass around the player and run around the other side. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Looks like we have two very hungry wing backs out there right mm, now. That's for sure. See, it's a race to see who's going to put it in the back of the net first. You know, I don't understand why in high school games they don't get some ball kids out here. We're always chasing balls. Well, no real urgency on the Hornets' part. That might be something that the Cardinals want to think about. If we're behind in a game and that starts to happen, I may have to leave the box and go be a ball boy, <laughs> Benji. One, two, pass back. Yeah, we're, we, we, we're so impressive at knowing where people are going. Well, and... Blaine oh, the shot. Keeper having to make a diving save there. Now, they're not... They don't have much closing pressure on us tonight. Um, we know that the Hornets are capable of a much higher rate of speed of play than what they're even showing now. They're just doing what they need to do to get their passes off. Ball easily comes back to Colton. Let's see if he rolls it out outside again. Yeah, I'm just going to feed it to Zach this time. We're going to have a lot of throw-ins. They are just, a lot of times, just playing the ball out, trying to take pressure off. That might be their best option tonight, Jack. Just, That's uh, what I'm thinking, too. I think Mateo was hoping that ball would run. Uh oh, nice. Mateo's got an opportunity here. He's going to have to take the shot he made. Yeah, he's going to draw the foul. So once again, the center re the center official doesn't call what the linesman call. I don't think the center guy wants to call much. We're, we're right outside the box, 20 yards out. Mm, 21, 22 yards out. Dangerous spot. Looks like Pearson is walking up with some authority. He may be going to take that kick. No, he's mm -hmm. going to go... Uh, Crash the bog, and we're going to let this Jackson is, take this it. This is definitely Jackson Whitaker territory here. I've seen him score from here many times. He's looking back to Schwab to see what he wants him to do. This has got to yeah. be on goal, and, and yeah. we need to crash because <coughs> if the keeper spills it, oh, that's a good shot. Yep. And oh, it, as you said, it goes through. Is there too much power yeah. for the, the keeper to control? So the Cardinals had a four-man wall, but we know that Jackson Whitaker can kick it through a brick wall if he needs to. That but it does go through for the corner, so we're going to have this again. We'll see if Blaine stays in or he's coming out. So he may be staying in on this one. He looks over to Coach, see what he wants him to do. Playing this one in. He had a chance at near post, but it was well defended that time. Corbett's going to try that. Well, oh, nice Brock little shoulder to shoulder out. collision here. Physical but clean. So Jackson's back into work here. I may have to get a nice pack and ice his shoulder down after this. Looks like Jaden may be coming in for some defensive work. So they're warming up. Ball's thrown into Mateo into traffic. Another poor Once clearance again, yeah. by the Cardinals. <laughs> yeah, they... If he clears that up here at the 40 or the 50, we don't have that throwing chance. But this is, again, Jackson Whitaker's just his wheelhouse right here. We're not running up, though. He's keep Pearson's still back here. Patrick's not in there. Charlie's not in there. We don't have a lot of height right now. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here comes Jaden. He's coming in for Brock. Jaden's going to play on the left side over here. We're kind of playing that three in the back again tonight with Riker and Hannon on the wings. Right, they're playing up really high. Yeah, we didn't even try the flick this time. No, but Jackson, oh, no. Nah. Tries the one-touch pass. That's some... That would have been some nice precision if he was able to put it in with one touch there. 
It almost looks kind of like we're, they've lulled us into sleep here. We haven't been a lot of chances lately. Yeah, there's no real urgency on either team right now. Zach able to find Corbett in the middle. But it was a tough pass to handle as he loses possession. Cardinals at least within striking distance here in this throw in. Yeah, this is the closest throw in they've had in a while. You know, we haven't given up a goal all year. The thing that concerns me is in a game like this, if we get a little lazy, this would be a dangerous spot to give up a goal, just kind of falling asleep. Right. It'd be a shame to lose that streak sure in a game would. like this. That was nicely done by Jackson Hannon to keep it from being a corner kick. What do we have? Seven think, shutouts? Maybe they did call it a corner kick. Do we have seven shutouts now? Seven in a row, yeah. yeah. That's impressive for a season. Yes. Just as we enter district play. Oh, it is going to be a throw. They saw Jackson oh, Whitaker do it. Why not give it a try? Yeah, yeah they're all up. We need to play this. Yeah, here comes the counterattack here. We got Whitaker and Blaine seed an opportunity. They're going to isolate go. this right. guy That's here on the right left decision. side. Yep. Blaine holds up, gets more players. Yeah, and tail off. He was off. Offside, yeah. I almost felt like he, if he'd have played a little bit further out to Blaine, Blaine could have went ahead and taken it down the wing there. <clears throat> We're just over 10 minutes to go, 3-0 Hornets in what's kind of turned into a little bit of a sleepy game here. Looks like he's got Donovan up, stretching out. He may be going to bring Donovan in. Pearson's going to take control, drop it to Jackson Whitaker. Kind of a little bit of a lazy play on the defense. Yeah, Jaden had a bad pass there that set up an actual scoring opportunity yeah, for the Cardinals. They, they, they had a little bit more of a offensive presence. That could have been dangerous. We can't do that against Poto. Absolutely not. Jackson mishandles the ball there. Gives the Cardinals another opportunity. We need to... We need to get up and wake some people up out here. We're a little bit sleepwalking right now. Yeah, it started out looking like it was going to be a bloodbath. Score with nine minutes left to go. It's still three to zero, Hornets. Colton's going to keep this in, get us down the field maybe. We've kind of been stuck on this end for a couple of minutes. Yeah, Colton seems to be uh, content to roll it out and build from the back this time. Uh, he's been, we've been seeing his punts toward the middle of the field, longer punts with some length on them. Corbett with pressure, able to get, able to get the ball off to Jaden McWilliams, finds Blaine. Looks like Blaine's got a See the runners. nice through wall there for Alonzo, but... Sit him on the wrong I almost think there the better play would have been Mateo. Yeah. Yeah, Blaine wasn't able to, or excuse me, uh, Alonzo wasn't able to adjust his angle and run back the opposite direction like he needed to with he had the player on his back. Is this Jackson Hannon down? It looks like Jackson Hannon. I hope not. Um, yeah, it's, boy, that kid in his back. It doesn't seem like he's grabbing his leg. It may be his back. Jack, when that uh, flares up on him, is that something that he's able to uh, work through and and come back on, or is yeah, that better that's the to problem. for him? Well, this 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 season, the problem is he's gonna when he has instances where he falls and hits it hard like that, it's gonna flare up, and I mean it's it's, it's almost like fighting fires. You have to try to you know he can't he can't 
sit and get tight and he if he comes out now which he's out now he really needs to stand up and keep it moving around and loosen up I'm, if it is his back hmm. coach Bress is over there sitting with him right now I'm not sure if it's his back or let me see if I can test, text coach Bress and see what's going on here if it is would the better option be for him to just go ahead and sit and rest this game or is he I think any game like, knowing we, what we have coming I think that's probably the better part of Valor it's not. It's not something that he needs to play tonight. Yeah, we'll certainly need him in upcoming games as we enter district play for sure. Uh, he's up and walking now. He seems. Uh, it's seems hard to tell. I'm almost wondering if he hit his head. The most likely thing is his back, because that's what he struggled with. But it sounds strange to say this, but I almost. Would rather it be his head than his back <laughs> yeah. with his back issues. If he doesn't get to go back in the game, he's going to be really frustrated. But, boy, I tell you, if he's if he's struggling, it's probably better to let him rest and get ready for Thursday. i tell you what, he'll be even more frustrated if Riker's able to put one in on this That's left side. That's for sure. See, who did we bring Kale in in his place? It looks like Kale's yeah. over there. Yeah, Kale's back in on the right side. Six minutes to go. I'd like to see him get one more before this half. He's had Patrick sitting for a long time now. Looks like Jaden's going to take the throw in. I don't think Blaine's come out at all, has he? Blaine's been out there the whole yeah, time. Yeah, he's, he's been, been working hard. That's right. Man, he's so much bigger this year than last year. His he, chest, he is. thick shoulders. Yeah, he's which is in the you know the past couple of years, he's had the ability to get the ball down there and create space, but he's been pushed around a lot. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's a lot more difficult to body now. He's added a step or two in his speed, too. He's got, he's a lot faster than he was last year. That's a smart play by Mateo. Yeah, we've got Mateo and Corbett playing those center midfield positions. Good pass by Zach to find Donovan in traffic. Finds his brother Mateo back at... Oh, good That's pass. That's a good ball. He's definitely on sides. Let's see if Kel can... And we got runners coming in. Can we get it across? He gets across. Oh, well... Looks like off for a goal kick. Couldn't quite get it. We had Donovan and Blaine both coming right down the middle if he could get that across. So we have right at about five minutes to go, 3-0. I'm actually a little surprised that it's only 3-0 to zero at this point in the game, the way that we started off. But you're right, the, the pace has certainly slowed. So it sounds like Jackson, it was his head. He he took a shoulder to the head, and he said he was just a little bit dizzy, but he's going to rest at halftime and see. Okay. Well, now after so it's not his back. No, it's his back. What you was say. He thought it was his head. <laughs> Boy, he's got a hard head anyway. That's right. All right, so Pearson's going to, he's what, 32 yards out here? Yeah, this is this is one where I think I'd even put it on goal because the goalies had a tendency to kind of spill mm -hmm. it out and just have the, our players crash in front. Looking, he's got to run up and look at it. He might do it. No, no he plays it over. Good placement. On the delivery. Oh, look, exactly. He, you're right, Jack. He mishandled it yeah. again. What's the call? Are they say I don't know how they called offsides on that. No, the the goalie just mishandled the ball. That's what the linesman called it as offsides. I don't understand that call. No, I can go ahead and take the helm, Jack, if you want to go explain that rule to him. Yeah. You know, Pearson played that kind of a floater in to get a header, but well, I think anything from 30 yards or so, we ought to hit it right hard on the goal because this keeper hadn't grabbed anything tonight. Yeah. Everything's could. been a, a, you know, if we just crash in and just wait, just be looking for the deflection. You're 100% right. I wonder if the coaches were just considering that an opportunity to work on their set pieces, you know? Could be, yeah. You've got players in there that don't see a lot of action, uh, so that could be an opportunity to see Who's what they can do. Is, is that, a, is that Easton? It is. It's Easton. Yeah, Murray, Easton is in for the first time. I haven't. I'm not sure if he. Well, he's been in a couple of games, but it's been. A, I don't think he. I didn't see him in the tournament, but he's in on that right side up front. Got Charlie over there talking to Coach Toby and 
I wonder if he's going to go back in the game. Easton's a speedy one. He played for us in the junior high, and, man, he was full energy. Uh, he plays a lot like uh, Riker Milton, huh? Mm-hmm. Although Riker, it, man, he is just getting better and better every single year you see him. Every single game. Every game, you're right. He's another one that's put on a little bit of size yes, this has, year. Which has made a big difference. They called the hmm. th uh, throw. Yeah, I, I guess, guess he raised his foot. That's what the AR said, anyway. Well, this AR's had some interesting calls in the last minute and a half. <laughs> did he call the same thing on there? I think he just threw it straight threw it down and went out of bounds. Oh, did it come in and then back out? No. Yeah, I think you may be right, because they're going right back where he threw it. <laughs> My goodness. Now, one foot did raise off the ground, but the other one stayed on the ground. I watched it that time. That's going to be a corner. We need to make this one count here. This game is kind of falling into the doldrums here. We need to make this, put this spot in the net. Yeah, coach. If they can just get ahead on, I mean, this goalkeeper has let everything drop in front of him. We just need to get ahead on this. Well, here comes Pearson to see what he can make happen. Corbett on the delivery. Good oh, shot. Right oh, oh, that's yeah. the first time he caught one. He's able to make the grab oh. there, but Pearson was in position. He was right there, yeah. Ball's able to get by Zach to the Cardinal player. Zach doesn't give up, though. Boy, he stays on. If, they're if you get by him, you better stay with pace because he's going to get back at you. That's exactly right. If he makes a mistake, it's not a mistake because he, he fixes it. Well, we have one minute exactly to play, 3-0. But I don't think we've scored in about 20 minutes. Cardinals here are... Uh, Kind of a bit of an opportunity. Take their time. Throw in right to the Hornets. Played all the way back to the back line. Oh my goodness. Riker says, let me show you what to do with it, guys. I think huh. they're calling Kel. We're yeah. coming out with his cleats up there. cleats up, yeah. There's just about 10 seconds to go, but they're in no hurry to take this free kick. Might as well fire it and see here. what happen. Colton easily brings it down. And that's the half. 3-0. Kind of a lazy last 20 minutes of that half. We'll see if something changes up at halftime. I'm interested to see what he's going to do. He had Patrick sat for 25 minutes or so. Charlie's been out at least 20. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's going to play um, people that don't get to play a lot the rest of the way or if he's going to run them out there. We'll see. I thought that uh, scoreboard is going to be lit up like a Christmas tree too. the way that I it started. Uh, you know, we have district play, as you mentioned, starting on Thursday. Uh, you know, you'd hate to see any of the core players get hurt. Yeah. It's a tough one. It's a tough one to say, you know, you don't want to take the chance of getting those guys hurt or getting pull a muscle or something that's a little bit cool out there. We don't need them out there right now. I don't think, I mean, I think we can sustain defensively, but from a from a uh, selfish standpoint, I'd like to see them out there and put some goals in the net. Well, not just selfish standpoint. You don't want them to start getting lackadaisical in their exactly. approach to the game. I mean, if you get used to playing at a slower pace like that, I mean, it's hard to make that adjustment to kick it back into the gear that you need whenever we're playing against a team like Poto. I wish I could be in the huddle because I don't think Coach Swab and Toby and Bruss and McWilliams are going to be happy. I don't think... I think they're happy enough with the score, but I don't think they're happy with the play. No. If I was, if I hadn't seen them play all season, I was here watching them those last 20, 25 minutes. I would not think they're as good a team as I know they are because they really didn't force the issue. Agreed. I it's think hard. I agree. One thing I think the coaches are going to demand coming out in the second half is a, a increased speed of play. Uh, they were very slow on their their combinations. 
first half. Yeah, it's almost just like they decided, you know, we've got this game, we're, we're just going to slow down. But that's a deal where sometimes you don't turn it on, turn it off. We were at such a high level after Rodgers. I almost wish we'd played Poto tonight. Yeah. And go right into that because now it's just like they're in slow motion. Yeah, what is that going to do to the momentum that we created through that tournament? And I don't know a thing about Poto. I don't know what they've done. They've caused us real problems in the past, and it's never easy playing there. Every game that we played them that I've seen, Jack, they've been a real physical team, so yes. we can expect a scuffle for sure. Yes. I don't, I'm trying to think back. I don't know that I've ever seen us beat them there. I know I've seen them beat us at, we won the game in Hilldale, but I haven't seen them beat us there. Two yeah. years ago, we lost in overtime. We did, we did, and if you'll recall, they had the much fresher team toward the end of the game. Yes. I felt like that's what cost us the game. I remember one, I remember one play in specific, we, there was like five minutes to go or so, and we played the ball down here to, um, it was either Colton or Josh, mm -hmm. and he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and the keeper made a save, and I thought that was good. There was like five minutes to go. That was going to end the game. No one to overtime. I, it was Josh. I remember the yes. play. I yes. remember the play. And I thought, oh, man, that was our opportunity. And we went to overtime, and they were way fresher in overtime. He had another breakaway opportunity like that that was called a questionable offense yes. call as well. Yes. I remember yeah. that, too. And he was able to finish that. He and did they called it back offsides and at that point it was I was kind of with the mindset when it went to overtime I was like we're losing this because everything <laughs> oh, was against were, us yeah everything <laughs> everything was against us and and they were clearly the fresher team uh I think that we uh you know I, if I recall correctly they were they were uh substituting their players like crazy throughout yeah. the whole game and uh we didn't quite have the depth I guess that the coaches wanted that's what's going to be interesting is when district plays rolled around the past few years, we didn't have it last year, but the years before, we rarely made substitutions. We would substitute maybe two players. And so if it got down to the end in that game, I remember a game in Stillwell that we lost in overtime that was going to depend whether or not we were going to get a home playoff game. We're just running out of gas. But so far, we've got six or seven or eight subs that can come out and and play well not just fill space but play really well yeah we've uh, a good portion of this team i think has earned the confidence of the coaches players like Jaden mcwilliams i mean oh, yeah. uh, you know look how reliable he's been he's uh, a bonus because i think at the start of the year they were saying we're going to need him as keeper backup keeper whatever but you know nobody knew is he going to be able to keep up with this pace with his acl injury and in football it's a different deal it's short distances, short mm. bursts. It's a lot of co contact. A lot of cutting. But here, you know, and he did it fine. But He hasn't got a lot of touches uh, as a field player either. So for you know, when you take that in consideration also, it's even more impressive what he's been able to do on the back line. Yeah, he's been, he's been a definite bonus. I expected, you know, some of these players to be come in and, and to be able to add quality, but in all honesty, he's been a very pleasant surprise. And you, you mentioned several times now this new WSA South uh, organization that's coming together. I wonder how many of these guys are going to stick together and continue to build on that chemistry. Well, that to me, that's been Ford Gibson's key. They've had that club. Those guys on that team have all played together. The state championship teams. Mm -hmm. Their first one that they won in 2016, yeah. those boys were together for. I remember one summer, uh, my oldest son, Latham, was playing. We were out at um, Indian Springs, and that Arsenal team was playing in another in another division, and we went over to watch him play, and it was the whole team, mm -hmm. the whole high school team. And they go on to win the state championship because they played together the whole time. And you know, that's one of those deals where if it falls that way, it's been up to now it's been difficult, but if there is a team – that's a high-level team with a high-level coach, which it does have. Um, then I think that for them to all play together, if they all play together, it's going to be huge. That's interesting. That's an interesting thought. You know, that year that Fort Gibson won their first state championship, they actually beat Jinx in yeah. 2016. They beat them 3-2. to two. That, yeah. That's impressive. They are, you know, they had really good players, but not only did they have really good players, 
they played so well together like we're seeing our boys out here. Right, and, right. And, you know, some of these boys have played on the same team. Patrick and Blaine are on the same team. Right. Um, right. Some of the boys have played on the, on the same teams, but, man, when they're – and the other thing is, is all, most everybody that's out here plays club ball at a high level, which is – Every year with Hilldale, there's been more and more percentage. I remember when Latham played, his, he was a ninth grader. There was only two people that played club ball, him and Bailey. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Bailey that's not going to get you a state championship. That's not going to get you a lot. So, and that's that's one thing that these guys, that's raised their level significantly. The, you know, so the, we've got a lot of skill in this team. We have a lot of depth. We've talked about that. We Just... They're such a team, Jack. Like they, they, everybody gets along so well. And there's a lot of positivity. You don't see any any sort of uh, uh, negative uh, confrontations back there or anything. It's just you know, a really supporting, supportive team and lifting each other up. And that's that's nice to see as they well. They do stuff together outside the game. Yes. Last Friday night, there was a bunch of them over right. using up my hot tub. That's right. I couldn't get in after the game <laughs> after my hot tub. And they stayed in my hot tub for a long time. Yeah. I can oh, stay yeah, in for about. 10 or 15 minutes, yeah. then I get dehydrated. Yeah. They were there for like an hour. I know. Like, how are you guys doing this? <laughs> well, let's see if we're right, Jack. Let's see what kind of intensity they step onto the field with, regardless of who's out there. I would like, you know, the way that you avoid that uh, lackadaisical trap that we were talking about is, you know, you, might, you put some, you know, you put some of your twos in there. But encourage them to play with the same intensity and the same pace that they're used to playing. Mm -hmm. well, I see Patrick warming up. I think he's coming back out. Looks like Charlie's coming back out. They're, they're, yeah. They've got their yellow off. So maybe they're going to start out like they did in the first half. That's what I was going to say. If you're judging by the uh, who has the targets on and who doesn't, it looks like a pretty standard starting 11 out there. Uh, we got Alonzo. Uh, Looks like he d he's taking his target off. Do you see Blaine out there? Yeah, Blaine does not have a target on. Charlie does not have a target on. Patrick doesn't. It looks like they're going to start the way they started the game, except for, like you said, Alonzo, but I, I well, don't know. No, he's, well, he's sitting down now, yeah, so. Yeah. so maybe they're going to start the way they did. They need to come out and score a couple of go goals early and... But yeah, I'm, I'm with you. If they put if they put people in that are not the starters and they're kind of playing slow and lackadaisical, I get them out and say, "Hey, we got to go at a higher level than this." Yeah, if you we, there's one speed when you're playing for Hill down in the field, and if you're not going to play that speed, then come sit down by me. Looks like Colton's going back out as the keeper, so I think he's our keeper. I think they've decided that he's going to be the keeper, and Jaden's going to play defense. He's done a good job. Uh, the first of the season, the question mark for me, uh, he made a couple of questionable decisions on his ball distribution. He's improved that, though. And we like we, we knew he could make good saves. We've seen him make a fantastic save the other night that you know, a lot of keepers wouldn't have made. No, especially when you hadn't been tested. That's the hard <laughs> If you're getting tested over and over, you're ready. You're ready to make those saves. But he's sitting back there doing nothing, and all of a sudden he's called on to make a really difficult save. Yeah, man, his, his distribution's been a lot better. He's definitely made some improvements there. That's what's scary. These guys are a great team right now. There's improvements oh, to be made. Absolutely. They could level up even from where they're at now. They're going to start a little bit different because they've got Charlie back in the midfield with Corbett. Looks like they're going to start uh, Brian Bress there. In the <laughs> now, Brian's going to play, now, Brian's going to pull a hamstring at these stars <laughs> for sure because I've seen that happen before. I saw Brian try to race some people before and he made it about 30 yards and pulled a hamstring well, and ended up in my office so. the, the problem with that guy is he, he pulled his hamstring and continued to keep trying to run because he didn't yeah. want to lose <laughs> no, he <didn't. laughs> no he makes he makes the situation worse so Alonzo is actually going to start for us and he's going to be in center forward so who's not out there so they drop Patrick back let's see what is may have changed the formation no I was wrong they do have Charlie up here I don't know are they just going to play two in the midfield? Yeah, I think we're going to play a four-three-three now. Okay. It looks like, as uh, unless they unless. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we were we pulled out of that. Yeah. Three in the back. Yeah, Patrick's going to play a attacking wide midfielder here on the right again, playing inverted. I 
that's sort of the nice thing is if you're if you're scouting this team, you don't know how they're going to set up. They set up so many different ways. You don't know who they're going to play up top. You just they're very difficult to scout. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're they're really. We've said it over and over, and sound like a broken record, but they're a well coached team, and it becomes evident in in several different aspects. Oh, that goes. Oh, I thought that got through. Yeah, Charlie thought it was coming through too. He was there for it. I saw his mouth watering. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Jackson's waiting on somebody to get him the ball. Already got a minute down, Jack. They better get one there's, in if they're going to keep pace yeah. with the first half. Well, Charlie, I think he was a little bit ambitious with that one. I'd like to see him score in the first five. I mean, that's what our goal is here. We need to score in the first five minutes. Yeah, they got us spoil, spoiled, you know, with their five-minute, four-second goal. We had to wait a while against yeah. Rodgers. That was kind of a tantalizing. They woke up. We have been a second-half team. We'll see if that continues. Patrick looking for Ooh. the ball here. Patrick got a little bump, bump in the face there. Trying to play through the player here. Thought he was uh, able to get away with it. A little it, too much handsiness. <laughs> A little too obvious there. Yeah. Sink back. kind of let it go for a while, and Patrick thought, I'm going to keep this up. <laughs> Cardinals just not able to do anything with the ball. And inevitably ends up out of bounds whenever they get possession. Nice Long toss. throw. That's over his head. Charlie just turned the wrong way. But they don't clear it. See what Corbett can do here. Oh, nice, nice one, two. two. And then, oh, if that oh. got through, that was a good look. Corbett saw him. Yeah. The player was actually able to step uh, step in and close in on the pass. Patrick wasn't oh, expecting man. that one. He was no. a step late for that receiving that we ball. Almost made too many passes right there. I guess that's a counterattack that was quickly disrupted there by the Cardinals. Turn it right back around. Blaine, I don't think Blaine was quite ready for that. Yeah, he's not going to get there before it goes out of bounds. He was coming back this way, and he couldn't change direction quick enough. Well, that was a, a nice little look. They played it around a little bit. I almost think we took too many touches at the end, but I thought that ball was going to get through the quarter plays. I thought it was going to get through to Blaine. Mm -hmm. I still like to see our speed of play increase here. You know, it's hard to, to play at that uh, intense speed when the other team is just so lethargic. You almost need a, a high-pressure closing team to, to spur you along. Absolutely. This is one of those I wish they need to recognize this, that this keeper has not been good at handling the ball, and they need to take some shots from distance if they have it. Patrick with the... Unorthodox trap to the groin. <laughs> <laughs> Whitaker all day to decide what he wants to do with it. Decides to give Colton some action. Who is forced to... He misplays that, unfortunately. Something I'd like to see cleaned up a little bit because there are going to be times when we have to play it back to the keeper, and it took a little bit too long there. And they, they to their credit, they closed fast. Yeah, the first time they seemed to smell blood in the game for sure. Oh, that there. bounced way too many times in the box. It did surprisingly. Blaine with some poise here and likes to carry the ball out rather than clear it. I like Charlie's that. on a big run. Blaine creates a little space for himself and a oh. poor pass to Patrick. Loses possession. Oh, Zach almost he forced him to play it out, but I thought he was going to take it right off his foot. Well, I didn't get my five-minute goal. If a 3-0 lead is possible to be frustrating, this is frustrating. 
Yeah, especially against a team that uh, won a state championship in 2016. This shows the the level that our program has gotten to when you're ahead 3-0 and it just doesn't seem like we're playing well enough. Oh, that bounced through. Yeah, Alonzo, nice. Oh, man. It looked like a better uh, pass to Blaine than it actually was from this angle. And Blaine got a shot. That's what I'm saying. Get a shot. Try to keep her. Make him make the save. Brock can play this right. I couldn't decide who's oh, going to hit it. Oh, we need to get that call. I think that might have been yeah. head to head. Yeah, I Jackson think it, doesn't seem faced. No, he got the better of the collision, but it was uh, it was definitely reckless and dangerous play on Pearson the Cardinals plays it part. Quick. I don't think Verger was even looking. Here comes Blaine on the outside. He is able to find Charlie. What's he going to do? Is he going to get... Oh, 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 that... Oh, off the... Are you kidding me? Off the side post. Riker almost got I his goal, Jack. He's going to get his goal. That was a nice cut back by Charlie and right on Riker's foot. And I thought that was going in. It could not get any closer Man. than that and not go in. There we go. Now Zach's getting the opportunity on the other I side. I think he's, he's going to quite catch up. No. A little bit strong on it. Well, I like the attack. We've had two good shots. Put one right on the keeper, the other one off the post. So we need to keep that pace up. Riker almost got his goal. He's gonna be he's gonna be seeing that all night because that mm. was right off the post. Yeah, like I said, I don't think you can get any closer and not make it. Goal kicks played out easily. The Charlie's able to win the ball. Another oh, poor attack clearance. That, attack that. They play it out. That's going for a corner. All right, we'll see. I think it's time to score a corner. We haven't scored off a corner in a, quite a while. See what we got coming in here. He's sending pretty much everybody in except Zach and Brock. Whitaker's out at about the 20. Looks like he's going to play this one in. Oh, Patrick oh, gets no. it. Oh, oh my gosh. Man, right again, the keeper. funny angle up here. It looked like that was going in. Yeah, he, he rose up and got a nice attack on the ball, but just right at the keeper. I thought it was going in far post and... Didn't quite have the angle I thought it did. Riker with nice pressure. Plays it all the way back to Brock, who's going to send it over to Zach, who's in a little bit of traffic, but easily gets it to Corbett. Sends it over the back line. Let's see if they get careless with the ball. Yeah. They have been just about oh. every time. Well, they're they're firing. They're they're taking yeah, their they're shots. Yeah, they're taking now. the shots. This is one of those deals where. Playing it in like that's not really a bad play because they have not handled it well. That's right. Even their clearances, they're either going straight up in the air or, you know, out of bounds deep in their own territory. Deep in their own defensive third. Let's see who's going to apply their pressure there. Yeah, once again, boy. Alonzo is inviting that ball to the outside there. The clearances have just been really bad. Yeah, best case scenario, they're kicking it out of bounds and giving up possession on a throw in to us. We need to keep these shots coming. They're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, ha it's gonna break through. Okay, Jackson and. I couldn't decide who was going to go get the ball. I'm not well, sure they were deciding either. That's right. They need to be a little bit more decisive on those. Patrick, rather than takes the turn, he gives it to Zach. Plays it right back to him. Now this one, this may be a bit far out to go at the keeper. This one may be one you play in for the... Yeah, I was getting ready to say, uh, they're going to send, I bet they send Pearson up to get that, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be the Twin Towers, the Trip Towers here. Yeah. We got all three of the big guys in, so. Patrick's going to get there. Oh, uh, just a little too much for Patrick. You know, we got a funny angle up here, Jack. I'm misjudging. I know. It looks, like it, it looks like it's going to be. That was just, it's hard to, to tell the height. Mm -hmm. So we're 10 minutes in. We're still 3-0. It's been 3-0 for 30 minutes or so.
Yeah, there's only been two goals scored in the last 48 minutes. Thought they're going to get an opportunity there, but Zach aggressively disrupts. Gives Pearson an opportunity to clear the ball. Another poor touch Let's by the Cardinals. We got. Oh, man. See, Jackson's going to take control Jackson here. Walker was making a run, but we didn't get the ball through. Now he's coming back on defense. We're getting a little bit sloppy with our touches, we too. We are. Definitely don't want to see that. And then Once Jackson. Again, I just don't think the coaches are going to be no. real happy with this. No, this is, we need to slow down, get control, get some composure, complete some good passes. Some sloppy soccer here, both sides of the ball. Just knocking it back and forth. Ball's played out. They better clear the ball here. And Charlie holds it up well. Looks for the back hill pass. Alonzo picks it up. Sends it one more time to the outside. Here comes Blaine. Able to find Alonzo. Boy, just a little bit sloppy yeah, on these passes. A little bit behind him. Just a little bit off. And that's just a no man's land there. Waker decided to take an effort from 35 yards out over the post. Carter's going to make a substitution with two players here. So another goal kick, which they have not cleared well. I mean, we should be looking to jump all over this. As we are, I'd like to see him bring that ball down there. Although he probably knew they were going to play it out and get a throw in. So. <laughs> Whitaker's not going to take it. No, he's, he's taking a break here. Of it. Zach plays it back to Brock, who's going to find Jackson Whitaker. Pearson gives it right back to him. Uh, Blaine, another. I tell you what, I really think we ought to take this game film and send it out to all the schools we play <laughs> because they're going to think we're not very good passers. Well, they're not going to think we're very skilled on the ball either. No, they're not because we have not been. Even That's that, a good three ball. Blaine's yeah. going to finish. Off the post again. Yeah, there's Riker. He wanted to give it to his boy Riker, but no, Man. no, that's Alonzo. I'm sorry. And we've had two posts this half. Points. That's a miss. Nobody's through. Let's see if Whitaker comes over and takes this because we're down close. I don't think he's going to. Or did they call their throw in? Did we hit it? We well, must have touched it. Yeah, I guess so. 26 minutes to go. Still 3 0. We've had two off the post. This half. Nothing in the net. Playing able to find Riker on the outside. I like the play. I like the thought. That I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, he's going to take Charlie's going to take this throw. Well, you see Jackson's going over there. Oh, too, there he so. is. Is he? Maybe Charlie's just going to get the ball for him. It's the least he can do. I know we're ahead, but gosh, I'd like to see us go around and get the ball quicker and try to score here. Yeah, well, what you don't want to see is this sloppy style of play that we're seeing. You know, you know, you, maybe you don't want to, maybe you want to work on your possession a little bit. Maybe you don't have to have a real high rate speed of play, but you definitely don't want to be this sloppy. Corner kick. It's out for another corner. I think Corbett's going to take this kick too. Sure would like to see a score on the corner. Like we're going to the box. 
Jack, it'll be a shame if we don't see a score with when you have those three. Look at that. That's it. Oh, they saved it off the line. Wow, they've had... Oh, again, another opportunity goes through the end corner. of the No one there to clean it up. It's going to be a corner. Man, I tell you, that ball was going far post and saved off the line. We've had three that I thought were going to be in. I was going to say, it's still no goal with 24 minutes left in the half, but it could have easily been three goals this half. Sometimes it just doesn't fall for you. Near post. Man. I don't even think Blaine got on it. Blaine was in front of it. The goalie was to get there first. No, this this keeper is uh, providing some opportunities for the Hornets, just but they're not able to capitalize. Kel loses the 50-50 challenge. Another poor pass by the Cardinals. Sets up a throw in for the Hornets. Everything's slow. We're slow to throw it in. We're slow to play. Everything's. Charlie pushing the back. back all that. that. You lose possession. Yeah. 40 something, 42 yards out. Well, look how we're getting into our position for this set piece. Just nice and easy. I think Jackson may shoot this one. It's just, man, everything's so lazy, lackadaisical. They're walking. I don't like their body language this out of this game. <laughs> this no. No, they're falling asleep out there. Well, maybe it's when they're looking, looking ahead. They're thinking about Thursday night. I mean, 3-0 is one of those deals where they score a goal, and it changes everything. Patrick unable to find that ball. That's one if you know if it would have been a more competitive game, I think we'd have seen some more effort out of him and he would have won that ball. I'm just wondering if our our passes are a little off just because we're just I mean we're just not a we're a step behind everything. We'll see what can happen off this throw in. Zach's gonna like find Patrick. Well, we got the flick, but just not to anybody. Corbett's got it back. Man, just a little bit off with it. Yeah, Pearson's going to easily take control here and give it right back to Corbett, who finds Whitaker. At least able to put together a little combination of passes. Kell looking to switch the field, but elects to pass it back to Pearson instead. Oh, oh Zach. Patrick thought Zach was making a run. Yeah. Uh, it was a good idea. Yeah. Zach just was on a different page. Well, you know, it's that pace. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, if yeah. uh, ordinarily, if we had been in attacking mode, uh, Zach would have been looking it's for It's unusual because Zach's <laughs> always in attack mode. That's right. He wasn't in that attack mode that, that time. Yeah, we all have to be on the same page with our style of play. We are almost halfway through this half and still 3-0. Jackson leaves it for Brock. Gives it right back to him. And, and he mishandles again, the ball. Mishandled touch in the midfield. But even so though, uncharacteristic from Well, and the Cardinals aren't making us pay for it, you know? No. Corbett in traffic, able to find Mateo, buys a little space for himself, plays it back to Pearson. They're going to continue to play on the left side of the field as Brock moves down the sideline. I like the pass to Charlie. A little oh, ahead to touch. Yeah. oh, too much ahead. He might catch. No, he's no, not, not going to get there. He almost did. I say that. He almost did. That was just a little bit, little bit in front of him. No, we've got him trapped down for a throw-in. We'll see if we can keep it down here. 20 minutes left. Zach leisurely strolls back to get into place. 
throw in hmm. Corbett plays it out of bounds sets up another Cardinal throw in definitely no urgency on Verdiger's part here Patrick able to bring the ball down but loses possession pretty quickly. Now a little bit of a counterattack here. I guess he didn't see his two options that were looking for that through ball. No. Patrick pulls the ball out of traffic. Nice quick passes there. That's yeah, better. Plays it to Corbett. Going here. A little bit more crisp in their play. Mm. Let's see if Charlie can get over there and beat this guy. Yeah, he has. Another well, well it's like <laughs> that effort. Is it it? Yeah. It's he had him beat. He was, he was ahead of him. His body was ahead of him. Uh, you know, again, that's another play that I feel like if the game was more competitive, Charlie would have made that. Yeah. All right, here's the goal off the corner kick. We're changing things up. Patrick's taking it. This is going to be a goal. Cardinals have been uh, successful in lulling our team to sleep tonight. They definitely have. Yeah, Patrick with the left foot over here, I believe. I'm surprised he's taking that angle. He might try to curl it back in. That's the, what I'm, yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, that's yeah, that's nice. Yep. That nice piece? finish, Pearson yep. Weaver. It was a good delivery. Yeah, it was a good, exactly good great what delivery thought. and a very difficult finish. A volley down that low. Yep, a nice little top corner. Touch. Well, that was a little bit of a a uh, bright shining light in the midst of boredom. <laughs> yeah, and we hear a golf clap from the fans over there. <laughs> the ones that are I awake think anyway. the fans are asleep officially, <laughs> and they're all in blankets. And we're not. No, we're not. We're <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Whitaker's coming out. Who's? Uh, I'm not even sure who replaced him. Let's see here. We have. Or four zero. Kill. So that looks I like think Kill was out. Was out there already. It may have been Mateo. You know, Blaine has been. Even in slow motion tonight, it's yeah. super. He hadn't even been on the ground once. He started out at a high rate of speed. <laughs> hasn't been on the ground once. Uh, he started out at a high rate of speed, but you know everybody just sort of fell asleep here. Still scores four to zero with you know three opportunities that could have just as easily could went in. Seven. Seventeen and a half minutes left to play. Ball's thrown into Corbett, brings it down with his head. Nice little footwork by Blaine there. Switches the field. Zach's going to play it back to Pearson, who's got the advantage of finding the whole field in front of him. Plays it to Corbett. Brock is going to go, well, yeah, to Charlie, I guess. Charlie again is he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Oh, I thought he was going to get the shot. Good little effort. Oh, uh, who man. took that shot? Okay, that was that Kale that was came Kale in. That was Kale coming in. We got a new keeper out. The new keeper made a nice save going down to his right. Yeah, Kale's a good strike there. Yeah. Well, we've had shots. Player on Alonzo's back knocks him to the ground. Another Cardinal throw in. Eric Spear with his first touch on the ball. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call there? A foul? Yes, he called a foul. Sorry, Jack. I missed that when I was watching Eric Spear fall into position. Back into position. <laughs> <laughs> Get his blanket back on. Yeah. Zach plays it down to Patrick, who's oh. going to find Blaine. And now Blaine's in. Yeah, there's that speed that you want to he's see. He's going to take it himself. Yeah, he should. Nice. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah, he had the luxury yeah. of all the time in the world. Uh, the players picked out, on his picked back. Out the post, hit the post, but it went in. So That's right. 5-0. 5, -oh. Five -oh, 15 minutes to go. So let's see what they do here. He may start putting some people in here. Yeah, looks like we have Jaden getting ready to step back in the field. Jaden's going to come in for Brock, which he did in the first half about this same time. 
Looks or is like he coming in for Zach? He's yeah, coming for Zach. Let's see if they do some adjustments here. Yeah, ja uh, Jane's going to go ahead and stay at that center back spot. And they're going to move Brock over to the right side, right so fullback. Uh, Pearson and Jaden at center back, and Kale and Brock at the wing backs defensively. Comes Charlie. He's going to find Brock out there in that outside spot, but. It seems like we've created more opportunities with this formation in the second half. We've hit the post a couple of times and had some saves, but... Right, right. Ball's thrown in. Brock's able to get a foot on it first over to Charlie, oh, who Charlie bounces it off of his face. face. The center midfielder. Forces a sneeze on the player. <laughs> so like couple of sneezes off that contact. There's got to be nothing worse than that than catching the ball right in your face when you don't even expect it to come. <laughs> Especially when it hits you right in the nose like that. Charlie in traffic again. Who's that warming up with? Is that Donovan? Yes. Donovan warming up. You can tell by the hairstyle. Yes. Cardinals penetrating into the defensive third with a throw in. See if they can do anything with it. Not before it's cleared by Brock Fletcher. Another mishandle by the center back. I'll just keep the pressure there. I'm not sure what Mateo. I think he was trying to play it with his shoulder to Patrick, but Blaine might get on this. He's going to. He's going to get there. That's how oh, he's going to call a foul yeah. on Blaine. That player went well, down easy. Yeah, that was kind of incidental contact, but I think. Well, I don't know about his elbow on it. No, I don't know about that at all. He was going for the ball. It ball's brought down by the Cardinal player who mishandles it to Patrick. Gives Patrick a chance. What's he going to do? He's going to oh, step nice. through. And he's going to shoot. Oh, oh he almost curled that in. Throw it back in. That was a good shot. Good attempt. Yeah, he moves across the face of the goal and tries to curl it into that far post. 13 minutes left. Got some people coming in. Corbett's coming out. Blaine is out. And Patrick is out. And we've got Easton, Donovan. Who was the third one that came in? I didn't... Uh, that's... No, Easton and Donovan came in, but I didn't see who... Well, who, who went out besides Patrick and Cor Patrick, Blaine went out too? Corbett didn't? and Blaine. Yeah, I don't know. Brock throws it in to Easton, plays it right back to him. Look like he saved that in. I thought it was going out. Whitaker looking to set something up. He takes the shot yeah, to the far post. The Sees the target on the upper 90. Looks like they're going to be another sub. Jackson Hannon's going to come in for, I'm assuming, well, looks like going to give Pearson a rest. Is he going to stay his, back? I guess his dizziness is cleared. That's good to see. Head so injuries are always scary Brock for me. Center back. So we got Jaden and Brock at center back. Jackson takes over on the left side. Yeah, plays it into Charlie. Send it over to Jaden. Let me carry for a moment and then give it to Donovan. It's a little loose. So we got 11 minutes, 15 seconds to play, 5-0. Love to see somebody that hasn't scored score. We need to remember this moment how nice and calm and peaceful and almost lethargic it is and contrast that with what it's going to feel like Thursday night yeah, as we Thursday open up district night, play. 
Toby made the comment that you and I had, uh, what do you say, anxiety in our <laughs> voice against Rogers. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be back on Thursday night. He ain't seen nothing. No, he, has, no, he hasn't. <laughs> he has not. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of games on that schedule. I think it's going to be uh, pretty intense up here in the old booth. We may be the first commentators to actually get sent off. That's <laughs> true. Can the commentator get a red card? <laughs> or can we give a red card? That's what I want to do. Jaden's going to take the throw here. Oh, we got Boone Fletcher in. Looks like he's playing. Is that? Yeah, that's Boone. Uh, looks like oh, he's yeah, playing one of those center midfield yeah. spots. So we're 10 minutes to go, 5-0. We're looking for the is third. Is this a throw over here or a coin? It's a throw. Some new so players. Jackson's going to take score. a long throw here again. Well, he actually throws it. I didn't expect that. Oh, Donovan. Man, he was a step away. Keeper did a good job. Clears it out. Jackson's going, going over his head. head. That one, isn't he? That yeah, for sure. But that, look, that effort makes up. up for it with the effort. But makes a one of those hospital passes <laughs> to Brock. Good move by Jackson Whitaker to create some space for himself. Oh, nice ball. Followed by a good oh, pass. Oh, just a little too close to the keeper. Yeah, a little the wrong angle on that pass, but good idea. He plays that out a little bit. We've got a chance over here. You know, Jack, even the players that don't get a lot of playing time, they still have the right idea. They might not be able to execute as well as the, uh, the starters, but they still know what they're doing. Absolutely. Oh, that was a nice little move to get around. So he get here. Yeah, he almost found the through ball to find uh, Boone Fletcher. Good disruption by the back That's line of the Cardinals. Throw in. Let's see if we can get a throw in to come across the box. Jackson didn't throw it across the box that last time. He played it out about the 20, 25 yards out. We'll see what he does here. Yeah, they, they tacked that way before we did. A couple of Hornets and Cardinals fighting for the ball. Who's this coming in here? That Taking is... Taking out Alonzo. Yeah, Alonzo's coming out. I don't know who this is. Okay, I, we don't have a roster. I believe his name's Enrique Rodriguez. No, that's the first action I've seen him play. Yeah. Looks like he's playing center forward. Yeah, Jackson's going to try to get us in here. Throws it right into the box and Donovan's oh, there. Boone's able to make a good little oh. pass. It's going to go Oh, in. my oh. goodness. That was just right there. I'm not sure how they didn't finish that. Well, Boone Fletcher, a good ball there to set up the scoring opportunity. Cardinals yeah. able to outwork us, though. And it was well played. We just couldn't get the finish. Yeah, ball's floating on the line. The Cardinals able to get the clearance. Six and a half to go. Now, this will very likely be the shortest post-game speech that the boys have heard because the girls are playing and <laughs> yeah, they don't get used to it, guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Maybe we can snag a couple of those players up here at halftime, Jack. Yeah. 
Oh, Donovan's almost able he to He almost kick. got the touch past him. Yep. Well, we're 548. Coach Schwab with a nice touch. Toby's been sitting for a long time now. Toby, I know you're going to listen to this later. You look like you're worn out, man. I mean. I saw him nodding off over there. Yeah, did you fall? I think you're asleep. <laughs> Somebody get Toby some coffee. Looks like Hannon's going to take the throw in here. We have five minutes to go until shutout number eight is in the books. Well, that was an ambitious effort, but into the girls as they warm up. I would like to see uh, us protect this clean sheet streak here. Now, this is what I've been wanting to see. Our football players coming in here. Yeah. So who, who, I don't know their names, so we've been working off memory on the Chris, isn't it Chris? Yeah, Chris is uh, coming in on the left, and I'm not sure who just came in on the left. Oh, Gavin. Gavin's, oh, Gavin's in, in a okay. defender on the left. So we got uh, to the whole left side is new now. Jack, I'm, um, I'm coaching my son's uh, team, uh, my little UA team, and Gavin Williams' little brother, Nolan Williams, plays on the Tornadoes. How oh, really? Yeah, look for the Tornadoes to make an impact <laughs> and underrate recreational ball. Oh, that's a touch, uh -oh. too. Come on, see what Chris can do. Look oh, at I it. like it. Look at it. I like it. He had the right idea yeah. to get to boom, he too. Yeah, around him. That's not football, though. He only <laughs> thought he's going to get a little bit handsy, but he caught himself. We got 3:40 to go here. Now they're switching up. Jackson Whitaker has said, "Let me go back and play center back," and he's putting Jaden up. I think he's told Jaden to go up there and score a goal. Unselfish play by Jackson Whitaker. Yeah, you know, this player was off sides, but luckily the pass didn't make it to him. Oh. Now get him going. Turn it in. Tail looking for options here. I keep thinking that first ball. Oh, that was a good ball. Yeah, it's through. He's able to split the fullback and the center back there. Ooh, goalie puts him in a precarious situation. Good. Jackson Whitaker can oh that's we got some work to yeah. do here. Whitaker with pl plenty of poise to play the ball downfield. Gavin's gonna Oh, that's nice. Jaden, top Jayden tune here. Take your shot, Jaden. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Maybe play it over I thought he was going to take five. a shot, but he, I think he was trying to play down into the right here and just overhit it a little bit. Maybe rolled over the top of his foot. Two minutes to go. Jack, who's, man, I'll tell you a tough decision. Who's got the best hairstyle on our team? That's a that's a really difficult decision. we got a lot of people I mean, in the running Jackson for that Hannon one. is definitely bringing back the mullet. That's extra points in my book for that. Patrick and Blaine got the headbands going. Jaden, right. I think, has the headband going. Now, what would, what, what would you say old Boone Fletcher's got over there? It's sort that of is more of a, uh, it's almost like the perm look. <laughs> it's fluffy. It's very fluffy. Easton Morgan, he was in the running too, but he, he got rid of that perm that he had going. Yeah. Uh, he would have been in. I think we have to throw Chris in there too, even though this is his first time step on the field. This oh, year. absolutely. 
Oh, step in here and get your shot. Mateo's going to find the shot opportunity, I think. No, nope. he's able to get bullied off the ball. Oh, they're not going to give us any kind of foul now for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I mean, we could have gotten the call there uh, for sure, but. Let's see what Easton's got here. Brock looks for the shot. Jaden. Oh, man, the two football players ran into each <laughs> other. Another careless pass by the Cardinals. Slows what chance of a counterattack they had down. Well, I think our eighth shutout is going to definitely happen. We are ten seconds away. Man. Like I said, in a normal season, eight shutouts would be amazing in one season. There's the game, 5-0. And we, I think that's, we've outscored opponents 43-0 to zero in eight games. Yeah, folks, we'll rejoin you here at the kickoff for the girls' game. Unless, Jack, unless you want to talk for your, by, to yourself for a no, I was game just, starts. No, well, we'll go down there and see what we can find out. Yeah. Okay, folks, stay tuned, and we'll be back for the kickoff of the girls' game.
<laughs> Heavy breathing. All right, we're back. Uh, it's about three minutes to go for the girls' game, and we have two guests with us tonight. We'll call them the players of the game. We have Blaine McDaniel and Jackson Whitaker. Now, before, you guys don't know this, but when Benji and I were talking, one of the things we were talking about is who had the best hairstyle on the field. And you were one of the candidates. So who do you think, if you can't vote for yourself, who's got the best hairstyle? Uh, um, I say probably Patrick. Patrick, you think Patrick? Yeah. We, we, we like his headband, but we also, you know, there are some other hairstyles. We love Jackson Hannon. Yeah. And we love That's Boone Fletcher. Because yeah. Boone's got that puffy dude that he's got going. <laughs> he's got the so, curls. Tell us about this game tonight. Benji and I fell asleep about four or five times up here. It was very lazy, lackadaisical. What was what was the feeling out there? Yeah. Um, I fell asleep. I just remember scoring. I don't you know. You scored happened. a very nice goal. <laughs> You got in, and as soon as you got in, I said, he's scoring. And you went far post and just placed it perfectly. You know, the other thing I noticed, Blaine, is that you never hit the field once. You're usually on the ground four or yeah. five times with nice jump ups. Never once were you on the field. Yeah, they weren't very uh, physical. So. No, no. So tell us, next game, district play. You guys came out here today, really an easy game. Really, you know, could have been 10-0 very easily. Yeah. So what was the kind of the mindset going into this game? Um, basically to not injure ourselves or get too tired for the next game and yeah. prepare our strategies. Yeah. And you guys changed the way you played first half, second half. The yes. formations were different. What was the talk at halftime? Um, we just wanted to make sure we knew how to run it still. Okay. And this was a good I, good chance to try it. So running that formation yeah. and see how you do in that formation. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about Thursday night? I mean, it's, everything's going to change. going to be more physical. It's going to be a whole different ball game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I think we'll I think we'll handle it. Yeah. It, hopefully we raise the play to a level above yeah. what we did tonight. But, yeah. but still, that's the level that Hilldale's got to is what we talked about. We won the game 5-0, and we were like, we're complaining of a 5-0 game. Yeah. So that's a, good, that's a good thing. All right, well, Blaine, thanks for joining us. Thank and you. Let's see what Jackson Whitaker has to say. He's got a, pre, he's got a preset question that I was going to ask him because he wanted to know the questions before we brought him up here. So... Uh, Jackson, what's your favorite color? Red. Red? Yes, but sir. your shoes are pink. I thought it would be um, pink. Um, that actually, that's Nike's fault. That oh, is okay. That's kind of faded. Right. Yes. So here's my first question. You only threw the ball in uh, like half the time tonight. Was that a game plan? Because um, usually you throw in every throw in. It was a game plan in the middle of the game. Like Schwab just yelled at me and said, uh, you don't have to throw the ball in anymore. Okay. So just so, quit throwing it in. Yeah. Save your arm for Thursday night. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about at the end there. At the end there, you came back to play center back. Was that your decision? You wanted Jaden to go school? It, was, was, a, it was a mutual decision between me and Jaden. Okay. Um, he was like, dude. When I get the ball, I'm just going to go score. All right. <laughs> That's what we thought. Wait, so I thought I laid it all on you. I said, Jackson told him, I got you. Go score. And I said, dude, we can switch. He was like, yeah, you can. Let's switch. Yeah. And so we did. Yeah. And it didn't, like, work out the way we thought it would. Right. It's okay. Right. Um, so what did you think about the game? What would you um, – I saw you walking off and I came to get you, and you were just, like, shaking your head. like. I'm not too – I mean, we won 5-0, but right. I wasn't too happy with how we won. We didn't win the right way, right. I guess you could say. Um, we were very lackadaisical, like you said, mm -hmm. and uh, could have been a lot more sharp, but, I mean, we got the dub, so. That's the important thing. Right. And the shutout, that's eight straight shutouts, yep. so that's, that's the important. And I was a little worried at the end there, when you were saying like that one ball came back, play up here, and I was that like, was oh, we, we got yeah. work to do. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was a little nervous, but it. Thank goodness we're, yeah. you say, eight, in, eight now without any yeah. goals scored on us. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So these girls are getting ready to play. What do you think is going to happen out here? You know, I'm not really sure. Um, usually in the past, I've seen that Vertica's girls are pretty good, so yeah, very good. I'm yeah. expecting a really good game. Yeah, so. this should be a very hard fought game. So, Poto, Thursday night. Tough game. You've played there before. Mm -hmm. I don't ever remember winning there. No. They're physical, they're tough. What do you think our, our mindset will be coming out? To me, it looked like we were kind of looking for it. Like, a, just win the game, yeah. ultimately. Um, no cards, of course, because now it's district play, and that really matters. Mm -hmm. um, their field actually is more narrow than it's most. A lot more so narrow. It's, a lot it's, more. We're gonna have to adjust to that for sure. That's always hurt us in the past. It I has. think it really has. Um, but other than that, yeah, in the game. I'm looking forward really. to it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's the start of the road. Mm -hmm. We've we've done everything we've been asked so far, and the real road starts Thursday night. Thursday night. So. 
So this has been Jackson Witter. Jackson, thanks for coming up and talking to us. Great Thank game you. tonight. Appreciate even, it. Even though energy, but it was a great game. We're ready. We're 8-0. No, and hey, thanks, sir. All right, man. Thank you. And the girls are getting ready to go. Jackson, Blaine, thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, I discovered the real problem. All my fault. <laughs> I, I ran the number one, their numbers. So that was fun talking to Blaine and uh, Whitaker. Yeah. Two really good kids. They're great soccer players, and they're really great kids too, Jack. Absolutely. Well, Benji, these girls better be uh, ready to play at a higher level. Well, one thing we know that we got a juggernaut in Vertigris uh, at 4A. They won seven state championships in 4A. Now they've dropped down to 3A. Almost doesn't seem fair. Not at all. All right. Our girls are going to have to really work. Yeah, so Hagen's going to get her first touch in the game here. See if she can beat this player and get around her. She is able to do that. Oh, yeah. Try, almost has a good delivery to Christian, who's sitting up at center forward. I think it's going to be a hill they'll throw in. You know, when these girls have played teams that are really good, they've really played very defensively. Stayed back. I'd like to see him get a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, we've seen a couple of different styles out of these girls. You know, one more attacking with an intention to get a numerical advantage in the offensive third, and then one where they're, oh. where they're a little bit more defensive, like you said, and they sit back and, and wait on the counterattack. Boy, we had a golden opportunity there. We did. Avery, two number fives there battling for the ball. Hallie, good pressure there, unable to... To, to prevent the turn from the Cardinal player. I'm not sure how good these girls are doing on the season so far, but uh, you, you can expect to see Vertigris making some waves in the 3A uh, classification. Oh, they're definitely going to make waves in the 3A. They're a big team. These girls look very athletic, very fast. Agreed. Should be a good contest for the night. Awkward touch to play the ball out of bounds. Gives the Hornet throw in. Well, the good news, the first couple of minutes in, we've been the aggressor, it looks like. Bella, Bella's seeing what she can do. Nice little turn there. Ashley Denoy is going to settle it down. I think the ball was played off the, yes it was, it was played off the Cardinal player. Another Hornet throw in. Oh, good ball into Aspen. It wasn't expecting, I guess. I think Aspen was really to make that turn so quick. Ashley's going to find the ball over her head. Plays a good ball down the line. Pretty That's some physical play there. 21's yeah. a big girl. She's tall. She is, and uh, Bella's a, a one that's really tough to get the ball off her feet. So you're going to have to do more than just get physical with her if you want that ball. Seems like both teams are trying to establish their game plan against the other. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who's able to do so. I don't know if she knows that their teammates got to tell her there's a girl uh -oh. coming. They just... Uh-oh. Oh. Well, we got lucky there. Yes, we did. You know, uh, I don't know that Emerson thought that girl... I mean, she I had the girl... I don't know if anybody yelled man on. Yeah, she had somebody on her back, and I don't think that Emerson knew how much pressure she was really facing there. Well, that number five is going to want that shot back. She okay. All she had to do is pass it into the net. Yeah, we got away with one there. A 
you know, I keep calling Addie Reynolds a, a new goalkeeper, but she's practically a grizzled veteran now after two shootouts in a row. Well, that is true. And scored a goal. And scored a she goal. She was so excited. She posted on Facebook that she scored her first goal. And yeah. That's nerve-wracking. And a shootout in a tournament to step up, and and the goalkeeper she scored on is a goalkeeper that's got Division One offers. So, Well, and then the next shootout, she made saves. Yeah, she, she did. She had, for sure, two saves. So that's going to give her a lot of confidence going into district play where sometimes they end up in ties and the shootouts are going to count even more importantly. There's nowhere on the field where confidence is more important than in your goalkeeper spot. I mean, you have to be uh, decisive, you have to be aggressive, and you have to be quick and confident in your decision making. So that confidence is definitely going to help as we move into district play. Well, both teams have had chances. I like the look of the Hilldale girls. They've been more aggressive than I have seen them in really tight games. But, you know, they played – even the game that they lost against Sand Springs, they really had the better run of play. I agree. For the last 20 minutes for sure, and they just couldn't finish. Ashley misplays it there. It looks like Addie's going to get a chance to give the clearance. I think Hagen's going to get there, and if she can find the handle and get around this player. Okay, good ball. Tough angle on the pass down the sideline. Boy, Ashley, the noise is all over the field now. Yeah, she was over here to the right. Now she's over to the left. Holding her rib. Looks like she might have taken a shot to the ribs. So she, I thought she was playing on the right. She's playing center back. She is playing, center, playing back, center back, yeah. Mm -hmm. So her and Triplett are center back, right? That's right. And then you have Emerson over there in the left back spot. And then Avery Etchison on the right back. Well, she's the right center back. And I've seen her all the way to the right. Sideline all the way to the left sideline, so she yep. is really working hard. Good effort. Emerson with a Jackson Whitaker type throw. It was interesting to hear that Jackson said that they told him don't throw anymore. <laughs> Emerson Glass on the throw in again. Good numbers. They're they're definitely more offensive minded in their approach tonight, which I like. Yeah, I'm very. I, I was afraid we were going to see a very sit back and defend, but they've put pressure on. You know, our uh, the boys that just finished their game. They're they're very mm, very aggressive and offensive in their tactics and like we mentioned before that almost helps our defense out quite a bit our, oh, right. yeah sometimes like we said before a, a strong offense is a is a strong defense that's the thing about it our our defense really hasn't had to do a lot of work now they had to do work against rogers there's no doubt mm -hmm. but a lot of these games they haven't had to do much work but when they do they they answer the bell Everyone from our back line to our keepers. If you remember, Jaden McWilliams made a fantastic couple of saves, too. That's right. Addie plays the ball out to the Maddie Folsom. Tries to flick it on over. Almost got by the Cardinal player to Christian Carey. Emerson better be ready for this girl this time. Yeah, you, I don't think you're going to see that same mistake from Emerson. She knows what she's facing over there now. Jack, I don't know how much you've gotten to see the girls play, but uh, Emerson Glass is one that she rises to rises to the level of her competition. She 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 doesn't want to get beat, and she's not going to get beat. Ashley provides some room there for Addie to make the grab. Nice heads up play. You know when Addie first came out and started playing keeper. She had no idea how to play keeper. She was a manager. Yeah. 
and decided she wanted to play keeper, and now she's... Oh, Hagen's going to get a chance here, okay. Jack. Oh, couldn't quite... It's on her left foot. Can she... Oh, nobody nobody's there. In there. Wow. I thought she was going to get oh, a touch. There, I think there was a call of some sort. Huh. Oh, she... No, I don't know. Did oh, I guess it went over the line. I yeah, guess it must have goal been. kick. I thought she was going to get a touch around the keeper at first, and... Like you said earlier, our angle's weird. It seems like sometimes when we think something's going to be, it's a little bit different. No, you're right, though. Addie Reynolds is just out there messing around playing as a manager. Yeah. And, and Schwab's seeing her making some good saves. It's like, hey, Addie, what are you doing? And two years later, she's in the uniform starting. Yeah. Well, Benji, I'm going to have to take my wife to dinner. You do that, Jack. So I'm going to give it to you. I'll, I'll take control. I will here. see you Thursday night, right next to the yes, tallest hill in the world. Start, start <laughs> starting, starting uh, district play, which we'll try to keep it under control the best we can. Ooh, big clearance by the Cardinals. But Ashley Denoy is there to disrupt. They better get the ball out of the front of the goal. Good job. Maddie plays it out wide. Christian's going to come back to meet the ball here. Oh, nice pass by the Cardinals. She's able to get it around Ashley, but just barely. Well, a little one-two to Bella, back to Christian, but Christian not able to get there. This Fergus team uh, does seem very athletic. They got a lot of big, strong girls out there that can move around. Hornets are going to have their hands full tonight. Gonna be a throw in for the Cardinals. Maddie's on the first touch over the player's back. Good effort. Uh oh, dangerous spot for the Cardinals to have possession. They are able to play a good ball behind the back line, but a swarm of Hornets are able to take control. Good clearance by Emerson Glass. Hornets find a little breathing room. Be another Cardinal throw in. Hallie with some nice pressure on the sideline to force the Cardinal player to miss touch it and uh, set up the goal kick for the Hornets. Addie Reynolds gives our team to get into position here. Cardinals able to win the ball. Addy Glass with a nice ball into Aspen Nunn, who tries to play it down the sideline. Is she going to be able to save it? No. Another touch there. Sees the ball out of bounds for a Cardinal throw in. Ashley Denoya, again, proving to be a problem for these Cardinals attackers.
Emerson's able to get the ball through. Can Callie Clark get there? And she can. She had Hagen making a good run there on the outside, but unable to find her as the Cardinal player takes possession. Ball's played out of bounds for a Hornet throw in. Emerson Glass is going to take the throw. She's got Bella making a run to the sideline. Gets her the ball. She bullied out of position, though, by two Cardinal players. Avery, nice, tough play. Almost prevents the turn, but the player, with good effort on her part, actually gets the shot off. It goes wide left, not much of a threat. But you got to give her credit for getting that shot off under tremendous pressure by Avery Hutchison. It's going to be a goal kick for the Hornets. Cardinals able to win the ball again in the air. Good job on Addy Glass to get the first touch on the ball and the throw in. Bell is, oh, is picked off there, but able to bring it back down on a bad pass to, by the oh, Higgins on the outside. Good ball into the middle to Callie Clark and Aspen Nunn's there too. Neither one are going to be able to get there. Tricky little pullback play by the center back. Let's see what Higginbacus is going to do here. Plays it over to the middle. More quality play by the Verdigris center backs. When you're a team like the Verdigris Lady Cardinals and you have this much tradition behind you, it doesn't matter how good the team you have that year is. You've always got that tradition behind you that makes you a threat to win any game against any player on any given day. More physical play by the Cardinals to be on the back of Bella McWilliams. Oh, good pressure by Callie, but she's... Back and forth possession here as somebody tries to take control. Hagen's going to get around this fullback on the left side. Oh, good pass, Callie. Is she going to be able to get a shot off? She's in traffic. No, it looks like the keeper was able to deflect the ball at least. I think it's going to be a corner kick for the Hornets. Yeah, it looks like it. So it looks like we're going to have Bella and Hagen over there. So probably going to be the short corner play as they draw out the defense. Uh, wasted opportunity. Corner kick. We had a chance. Weren't able to capitalize. Good step by Emerson to disrupt play. Callie's going to play this ball back to Addy. He's going to get us a big clearance. Cardinals are winning the balls in the air. 
that seems to be the difference so far. They're taking uh, control of more of these 50-50 balls. Good play by Emerson to give us the goal kick opportunity, but you know, again, it's it doesn't do much good when the Cardinals are winning every 50-50 ball and every ball in the air. I think the Hornets are going to have to at least do better in the second ball. First touch again by the Cardinals. Oh, Bella looks for Hagen, but it didn't look like she's going to get there. But wow, great play by Hagen to to get control of that ball on the outside. Fantastic. And she faces a skilled player as well. It's able to get back around her to keep the ball alive for the Cardinals. Hmm, you have an injured player over here. Referee's calling for the time stoppage with 19 minutes and 28 seconds left to play. Score is still 0-0. Zero to zero. I think the way she's, it looks like she may be holding her ankle, kind of hard to tell from up here. Hopefully it's nothing too serious, but she does seem to be in a, quite a bit of pain. Bringing in this number 12. Cardinal throw in. Or that uh, Hagen can do anything with. Kelly Clark. A little closer to the sidelines. Neither team really able to establish. 45 seconds left in the first half. Good effort, I think. Uh oh. Addy decisively comes out and makes. Good effort on the Cardinals' part to create space for herself. Good job by Kinsey to win that ball. Ooh, Cardinal player gets a seen them, but maybe they are. Another injured player. I think it might just be Chris. Loses it. Another Cardinal. Six minutes and 30 seconds left in the post. He's dispossessed and the ball is played down the line. It's going to go out of bounds for a 